Welcome to another misleading internet title. Today we are baking pineapple buns and there's not a pineapple in sight. So in a nutshell, this is an enriched dough from Hong Kong that has a shaped top that looks like a pineapple. It's true, we've been there. So we need to chuck a bunch of stuff into here. We've got equal plain flour and strong flour. And the enriched part of our dough, instead of using water, which would you, you would tend to do, we're going for cream and milk. This feels weird. What? I'm doing the saying and you're doing the doing. I'm doing the doing. Normally you do the saying and the doing. <laughs> <laughs> we're also going to sweeten it with sugar, plus a pinch of salt, and of course yeast is our rising agent. And as if sugar and milk and cream isn't enough, egg as well. So this is a super rich, glossy dough. Then knead it all up until you've got something really smooth and elastic. Now after a good five minutes or so, we should end up with something that... Looks like a smooth, elastic brioche dough. Pretty much. I mean, that's, that, is, that is pretty much that's what, what it is. That's what we're going for, right? That's what we're aiming for. Yeah. And you'll know it's ready when basically it's nice and smooth, but you can tuck all those ends under and form one ball, at which point you place that into the bowl, cover it with cling film or a tea towel, and leave it in a warm place for about an hour, and it'll look a bit like that. Bulbous. I bet you're gonna knock that back, aren't you? Just like that. So what we're gonna do now is shape this wonderful mixture into 10 buns. Best way to try and get it equal is kind of roll yourself a sausage and just keep cutting it in half. All you want to do is take each of these buns and do exactly the same as you did with the big one earlier. Tuck it in to make one tight, round bun. Don't forget that these need a second prove and then in the oven they're going to expand again. So leave plenty of space on the tray for that to happen. We've got some scales out. So this is, this is maybe a step too far, but if you want all your buns to look the same and to cook even in the oven, they all need to be about the same. 100 grams, give or take, five or 10 grams is perfect. 126. Wow. That's because you've got bigger hands. It looks quite, <laughs> quite small in your hands. That's the excuse I always give. There we go. At this point, they need another half an hour under a tea towel or similar at room temperature to expand and grow again while we make the bit that makes pineapple buns so awesome. And the bit that changes these soft pillowy buns into pineapple buns is the crisp sugary shell, which is almost like a cookie dough. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna place all the dry ingredients into a bowl and then mix in the wet. That's flour, baking powder and baking soda, sugar, melted butter, milk and vanilla extract. And then get your hands in there and bring it all together. Basically, you're looking for something that you can roll out between two sheets of greaseproof paper, as thin as possible, but half a centimetre thick. Lay it on a baking sheet, get it in the fridge, or the freezer for 10 minutes just to chill up so that we can cut out discs. Some time has passed in a warm studio and our buns have risen and this is chilled up in the fridge. We can take the top layer off and basically grab yourself a cutter that's circular and about the same size our buns and just cut out discs. This is what's going to give the pineapple-y effect, isn't it? We're going to lay these on top. All we need to do is finish it with an egg wash and for this we're just going to go egg yolk. We have actually had these. Ben's had them twice. I was there on both occasions but I only had them once. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the first was actually in Hong Kong. Our friend Gary was walking around, he'd lost his shirt so I was probably <laughs> helping him find that. And the second time was in San Francisco. We did a meet-up and one of you guys brought us some pineapple buns. Yeah. Because obviously San Francisco has an amazing Chinatown. They come from a Chinese bakery. They were so good. I mean, it's taken us a while to get around to making them, but they are so worth giving a go. I managed to actually get to try them because all of my friends had their shirts. <laughs> True, we tend to wear shirts at meetups. These are egg yolk washed. Fantastic, which will give them a lovely glaze. With a bit of luck, they'll envelop over the buns as the buns expand. Envelop? No, I've made that word up. It, it will envelop because it will go around it. Yeah, it will envelope. <laughs> yeah, it will envelope. <laughs> it will envelope. What they need though is an oven at 175 degrees Celsius for about 13, 14 minutes. Keep an eye on them. You want them to go golden brown. And basically, if you pick one up and just tap its bottom, it should sound hollow. Then let them cool on a wire rack. And there we go, they've come out of the oven, we've allowed them to cool. You can see that kind of mottled pineapple effect. If you want it super regular, you can always score the top of that cookie dough. But they are absolutely perfect. Our pineapple buns, sorted. sorted. Inside, you get that amazing, fluffy, really sweet, enriched dough. Delicious. 
It's sweet, You've got like a different texture going on with that top bit. Wonderful. So, so good. And as with all baking, you need exact weights and measurements so you can find all of those on Sorted Food.